The concept of balance between the masculine and feminine, deeply rooted in ancient traditions, reflects a holistic understanding of life and existence. In Hindu culture, this balance is embodied in the divine beings and deities who represent both masculine and feminine aspects of creation. The story of Shiva and Parvati is a powerful symbol of this union, where Shiva merges with Parvati, forming Ardhanarishvara, a deity who is half male and half female. This represents the perfect balance between the masculine and feminine energies in the universe, a reminder that both are essential for harmony and spiritual awakening. The story of the sage Brigu further highlights the significance of this balance. Brigu's devotion to Shiva, his interactions with Parvati, and his eventual realization of the union of the masculine and feminine energies show the importance of transcending duality to reach higher spiritual truths. Brigu's dedication was intense, and his devotion to Shiva was singular, often ignoring Parvati's presence. Parvati, being equally powerful and enlightened, did not take this lightly. This led to a series of interactions where Vrigu tried to avoid circumambulating both Shiva and Parvati together. Shiva, amused by Vrigu's devotion and Parvati's discontent, eventually merged Parvati into his form, creating the half-man, half-woman deity. This act symbolized that neither the masculine nor the feminine could be ignored, and that true devotion required recognition and reverence for both. In this depiction of Ardhanarishvara, the message is clear. To be whole, one must embrace both the masculine and feminine aspects within oneself. In many spiritual traditions, devotion is seen as a feminine quality. It requires surrender, openness, and a willingness to dissolve one's ego in the presence of the divine. Vrigi's intense devotion made him increasingly feminine in his approach, and Shiva's merging with Parvati was both a challenge and lesson for Vrigu, showing that true devotion encompasses both energies. This teaching resonates in the practice of yoga, where balance between masculine and feminine, action and surrender, is essential for spiritual growth. Yoga itself, as a system of spiritual development, is based on the idea that every individual contains both masculine and feminine energies. The practice of yoga is about nurturing and harmonizing these energies. When these energies are fully active and in balance, an individual can live as 100% masculine and 100% feminine, simultaneously embodying both principles. This leads to a state of wholeness, where one's inner nature is fully expressed and spiritual realization becomes possible. The story of Brigu further illustrates how devotion can transcend logic and reason. Devotees are not always bound by the rational mind, and their love for the divine can lead them to take actions that seem illogical to the outside world. Brigu's insistence on circumambulating only Shiva, and later turning into a bee to avoid Parvati, shows the single-mindedness of devotion. While it may seem irrational, devotion often transcends the intellect and operates on a deeper emotional and spiritual level. In this way, devotion is a path to union with the divine, beyond the constraints of the mind. In the context of Shiva and Parvati, the union of the masculine and feminine energies is not just a personal or relational concept, but reflects the cosmic balance that sustains the universe. The masculine is often associated with structure, stability, and action, while the feminine represents creativity, nurturing, and receptivity. Together, they form the foundation of life and existence. The merging of Shiva and Parvati into Arthanarishvara is a profound reminder that the universe itself is a dance between these two energies, and that neither can exist without the other. The ancient sage Brigu plays a significant role in Hindu mythology and spiritual traditions. As one of the seven great sages, or Saptarishis, Brigu was instrumental in preserving and spreading Vedic knowledge. His devotion to Shiva and his interactions with the other gods reflect the complex relationship between humans and the divine, and the constant search for spiritual truth. Brigu is also credited with writing the Brigu Sanhita, one of the oldest and most important texts on astrology. This treatise contains detailed horoscopes and predictions for individuals based on their karmic patterns, and it is said that Brigu used his divine powers to foresee the future and record these insights in the text. One of the most well-known legends involving Brigu is his testing of the Trimati, 
the Hindu trinity of Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. In this story, Prigyu is tasked with determining which of the three gods is the greatest. His journey begins with Brahma, whom he curses for ignoring him, followed by Shiva, whom he curses to be worshipped only in the form of a lingam. Finally, he approaches Vishnu, who responds to Frigyu's provocations with humility and patience. Vishnu's response pleases Frigyu, and he declares Vishnu to be the greatest of the three. This story highlights the virtues of humility and patience, even in the face of provocation, and serves as a reminder that spiritual greatness is not just about power, but also about compassion and wisdom. The interplay between the masculine and feminine, as well as the dynamic between devotion and wisdom, is central to the teachings of Vrigu and the broader Hindu tradition. Devotion is often associated with the feminine, as it requires surrender and a deep emotional connection to the divine. Wisdom, on the other hand, is often seen as a masculine quality, associated with discernment, intellect, and the ability to see beyond the surface. In Vriyu's story, both qualities are necessary for spiritual growth. His devotion to Shiva, his interactions with Parvati, and his testing of the Trimurti all illustrate the need for balance between these energies. In the same way, the Bri Sanhita provides a guide for individuals to understand their karmic patterns and align their lives with the cosmic order. By understanding the interplay between masculine and feminine energies, as well as the karmic forces that shape one's life, individuals can achieve greater harmony and spiritual realization. The Bri Sanhita is not just a book of predictions, but a tool for self-understanding and growth. The legend of Vrigu and his interactions with the Trimurti also teaches the importance of humility in the face of spiritual power. Frida's testing of Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva serves as a reminder that true greatness lies not in strength or dominance, but in humility, patience, and the ability to respond with grace. Vishnu's humble apology to Vrigu, despite being provoked, is a powerful example of this virtue. In Hindu tradition, humility is seen as one of the most important qualities for spiritual growth. It is through humility that one can surrender to the divine and transcend the ego. The story of Frigyu Shiva and Parvati also reflects the importance of devotion in the spiritual path. Devotion, or bhakti, is seen as a powerful force that can lead to union with the divine. Frigyu's devotion to Shiva was so intense that it led to the creation of Aradhanarishvara, the ultimate union of the masculine and feminine. This story shows that devotion is not just about worship, but about a deep personal connection with the divine. It is through devotion that one can transcend the limitations of the ego and experience the fullness of life. In conclusion, the story of Vrayu, Shiva and Parvati, as well as the broader teachings of Hinduism, emphasize the importance of balance between the masculine and feminine energies, humility, devotion and wisdom. These qualities are essential for spiritual growth and the realization of one's true nature. Whether through the practice of yoga, the study of the Bri Samhita, or the worship of deities like Shiva and Vishnu, individuals are encouraged to cultivate these qualities in their lives. The union of the masculine and feminine, as symbolized by Aradhanarishvara, is not just a divine ideal, but a reflection of the balance that exists within every human being. By embracing both energies and cultivating humility, devotion and wisdom, one can achieve spiritual realization and live in harmony with the universe.